Hi everyone, Arian here and today we are going to see how to create this little cool micro interaction uh, by using Adobe XD. So let's jump on the video tutorial. So let's start guys with this little icon here that I downloaded for free. You need to resize this and then of course um, going here, take the square tool and start making the, the box of the tooltip. Just positioning it, change the corners radius and you can change it here on the, left, on the right side. Try to align everything. Perfect, you can even move this. I'm doing my best uh, to get faster, uh, so I'm not bothering much about the design. As you can see now, I I'm doing like the little, um, how can I say, the tip of the tooltip, if you could call it in this way. Change the radius of it. And of course, we are going to change the height of this little arrow. Make sure everything is aligned. Change the color, I remove the border and just make a background color of both the elements. Great. group them and rename it tooltip. I'm adding some text in it. Duplicate this and just add another text. In this case is the video speed. The quality Just move things around and make it look good. As you can see, I grouped uh, everything to be uh, more clear and things should be in order so that we can understand in the next phase how to actually move things around and don't get lost. Great. So I'm going to change the color of those. I just wanted to make them look like a link. Um, so I'm going to choose really a random color. It's not even, it's not even nice, but yeah, it's just to, you know, let you understand like uh, that this is a link. Okay, great. So Here I'm also adding the color, um, so if we need it again, we have it. Now I'm selecting everything and I'm using, using sorry, Control K. Uh, in this way you make a component and as you can see, we can rename the component uh, with tooltip. Uh, I just uh, spell it wrong, I guess, but anyway, um, now you can actually uh, make it also a little bit bolder if you want. Maybe this is too much, but yeah. Great. So select this and now we are going to create uh, a new state of this element. It means that this element will be changing 
in another state okay so um, I'm going to create a new state very very simply make sure this is selected okay um, and uh, yeah now we should uh, make it a little bit more organized because we need to move elements around so um, as you can see here on the level uh, I need to group some stuff so that I can uh, of course uh, move it as you can see uh, I need to move the whole box and I'm grouping those three layers in a new uh, group called um, tooltip box for example okay in this way if I move it as you can see everything moves and I'm going to make it uh, like zero opacity so that it disappears when is in the first state now I can create a new state of course um, as you can see there is state 2 you can call it whatever you want um, but in my case I will keep it like that and now I can select this remove the opacity or at least make it visible again and move it on the top so now I'm going to move this too as you can see so that in the second state we have the element looking in this way okay so first state second state first state second state right so very very clear very simple um, and this uh, allows you to make also the prototype so now we selected the prototype tab and I click on this um, and then select like auto animate is in is out and um, you know you can select also the seconds of the interaction um, yeah so um, now I'm in the second state so get back to the default state select this icon and then destination state 2 auto animate as a type and of course six seconds I'm going to select now the state 2 and clicking again on the icon we redo the process type auto animate um, here is in is out and destination should be default state so now I'm going and play this and see how this works um, so go on state 1 first and then play it and as you can see now it's working so I'm really sorry because it's lagging but uh, I assure you this is super smooth great so now let's make the state tree so to make that we actually going in the design first and we need to actually edit this and make the state tree right so now we have state 2 that looks like this um, and of course we need a way now to make the state tree so I added also some drop shadow in this example uh, just to make it a little bit uh, nicer So just changing some setting of the shadow and uh, yeah, I think that's great. So um, let's see, we have the states, right? We need to create the state tree, of course. So I'm going to click state tree and now that state tree is created, I'm going to edit the style of the new state. So first of all, I'm going uh, to make the quality um, button or link clickable right I want to make it clickable and I want that once that is clicked this box changes his size okay and I also want that the speed moves up and probably I'm going to make the opacity to zero because I'm not using the speed right now um, I'm doing this process because with auto animate looks like it will disappear and quality I move it on the top of the box uh, in this way okay uh, I will uh, remove this by removing the opacity also because I don't want to have that on there I'm going also to move the quality text so I'm going to select it move it a little bit inside of the box and I'm going to create uh, a little arrow here so it's a little bit tricky when you work inside of a component um, and now you will see the small issue is this like when you try to um, move stuff or to uh, make it smaller things move like uh, like crazy <laughs> I mean as you can see here I'm uh, struggling so I copy everything I paste it outside of the component as you can see on the left side of the bar we see the two lines outside of the component so I'm just making this 
uh, outside of it, of course, and as you can see, everything works fine. Once you made um, your little icon, okay, of course, we need to group it with Control G, as you can see, I rename it um, Arrow, <laughs> and then I'm going to copy this, okay, remove it, so delete it, get inside of the quality group and paste it inside of it. And now it's back into the component. Right, so a little bit complex, but yeah, you get used to this. <laughs> so great, uh, once we've done that, um, I'm usually going to click on the folder here that uh, unfortunately I called it in the same way of the other one. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, this is the folder. Um, then we are going to the main component, click on the second state, default state, and as you can see now we have three different state of the element, right? So now what I'm doing is going to add my um, little, how can I say, uh, radio button, right, to select the, the desired quality. So um, yeah, we just added this by changing color. So very, very quickly without bothering too much about the design, I'm going to add some um, circles here. I'm going to copy the text and then get into the box and paste it here. Okay, and then, uh, you know, you just add your quality. I don't remember like the quality settings, uh, but uh, I'm going to try to make my best. You select both elements and click on repeat grid. And now as you can see, it's easier because, uh, you know, you can drag this little um, handle here and you can repeat the elements. Great, so uh, once you repeated them, you can actually change uh, each of them with the, um, you know, with the qualities. I'm not sure those are like the real settings, but um, yeah, great. Yeah, probably this is 720 and the rest, I'm not sure. Anyway, now we need to move stuff because here uh, the things are not fitting into the box. So first of all, make the box a little bit bigger. Quality, you can change it, move it, sorry. Make it like that, like this. Great, I'm going to drag this handle because I need some more visibility of the elements inside of it, great. So now we can move both of the element. I just selected both of them and just move it to the middle. And I'm going also to reduce the spacing. This because looks really nice when it moves and the box change of size. It's really cool to see. So now we have our three elements, great guys. So now I'm going to test, um, I'm sorry, not to test, but to prototype it so uh, that um, to make things clickable, right? So um, let's select now the state tree, of course, and then um, I'm going to uh, prototype and of course uh, select state two, then select this group here because this is going to be clickable, artboard state tree is out, is in or whatever, and then you should be good to go, state tree, and select the quality group. Of course, uh, make the quality text clickable, just select it, okay, in this way. Click on the little arrow again, select the artwork. Make sure you are also on auto animate type and the seconds set up like my video. Then go into the default, play it, and you can click on it and as you can see everything moves great right so look at this this looks amazing uh, as i said before it's a little bit laggy for me wh while i'm recording this video but uh, yeah so i see like this kind of um, dots that i don't like the dots appearing before the box get all the space as you can see right look looks at, look at the dots they, they they are ugly so we are going to solve this very quickly by um, making some little changes okay so close this and get back here so now um, let me select the state tree okay let's go to the design tab copy this element control c go get the element to uh, the state too sorry and now open here the layers and paste it 
again. So now we have the repeat grid here in the state two, move it a little bit downside, drag the handle and then make it a little bit transparent so it's not visible in this state, right? In this way, it will be working fine. So let me check what is the name of this element we just pasted. So repeat grid one, we need to make sure the name in the second state is the same, otherwise the fact won't work. So uh, we need to drag it in the same folder, first of all, and rename it repeater grid one. Okay, so now the element should be in the same position with the same name. And if I try to play this, let me see how it looks. Okay, so uh, I can close this. Okay, open this by clicking on it. Quality and look at this. The dots are not showing before the box get bigger. So that's all for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.